Hi, my name is Stephen Monson. I am a website designer with EasyNet Tools. And today we're gonna to show you how to make basic changes to a website. We're gonna show you how to make changes first to simple pages like this with just text and how to maybe add a few photos, make some basic formatting changes, things like that. And then we're gonna show you just basically how to edit these more complex layouts as well, like with multiple columns and and images and things like that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Usually you'll go to your website and you're gonna type in slash login right here, just like that. It'll take you to a login screen. You will have a username and password. If you don't know it, um, just give us a call and we can help you out. On the left, you'll see pages right here. I'm gonna click on this and you'll see the pages that you have in your website. To start off, I wanna show you a really simple example. This is their About Us page. It just has text kind of explaining the history of their, of their company. If you wanted to make changes, it's really easy. Let's just say I wanted to add an extra paragraph and just say, hello. But I'm gonna click Update right here on the right-hand side, this blue button. This will save the page. And if I wanna see my changes, I can just go right up here to View Page. I'm gonna click that, and then I can see that hello was added. Pretty simple. Now if I wanna go back and make another change, all I have to do is go up to the top where it says edit page right here. And you'll notice there's a black bar here. That is here because we are logged in. Normal visitors will not see this black bar. But as long as you're logged in, you'll see it, which is really helpful because you can go from page to page on the front end. And then if you wanna make a change, you just click on edit page right here at the top. So anyways, I'm back on the About Us page and I'm going to click on Edit Page. Now I can go in here and delete that. Just hit Backspace on my keyboard. And then I hit Update to save it again. And just like that, I've made a basic change. Really simple, not hard at all. Uh, but let's say you want to add photos or do some other more complex things. Well, let me show you how to do that. First of all, there's several buttons right here at the top. If I click on Toolbar Toggle, we'll get a few more extras as well. So these include things like indenting, special characters, colors, horizontal lines, and even like strike throughs. Like if you wanted to strike through a part of the text, uh, you could do that, which is you know, sometimes useful. I'm gonna just do some basic editing really quick. I'm gonna bold this first little bit here. And let's see, maybe we'll use like an italic, uh, which we'll just say, just fine, we'll italicize that. Looks nice. Then we're going to make a bullet list. Item one, item two. And then if I highlight this and click on this bulleted list icon, it'll just become a bullet list. Then I can just hit enter, you know, item three. And if I hit enter twice, I'll get out of that bullet list. And I can just delete that too. Simple text editing changes, not too hard. Let's say I want to link this bit of text here to some other page. I can click on this insert edit link icon. And if I start typing, let's say I know that I want to link it to the contact us page. I'll just start typing in contact and there it is. And it will just put the appropriate link in for me. And I can click this blue apply button. There we go, looks nice. So. I'm just gonna update this one more time, view it so you can see what the changes look like on the front end. You can see this is bolded, this is a link, uh, and this is italicized right here. I'll click on the link so you can see it work. There you go, it goes to the Contact Us page. And now I'm just gonna go back and undo those changes that I made. Now, here's an interesting feature to be aware of too. Let's say you like can't remember how something used to be or you delete something, you wish you could go back. Well, there's actually a, a complete list of your revisions right here. If I click on the right where it says revisions 23, if I click browse, I can actually go back kind of in time and say, okay, I wanna go back to three minutes ago, um, or actually I wanna go back to before, you know, we'll go back to two weeks ago. And I will restore um, what the changes I had made. Now there's one more important feature that almost everyone wants to know how to do, and that is how to add a photo. 
So I'm just gonna hit enter once, give myself a little space. You can see my cursor here. This is where the photo is gonna go. So I'm gonna click on add media right here at the top. I'll click that and I'll take this picture of these farmers here and insert it into the post. Um, you'll notice that there is a little bit of caption that came with this one. Um, if I wanna get rid of that caption, I can just click on it and delete the caption here. I can also add alternate text, people in their field. And I'll hit update in the bottom right hand corner here. There it is, that looks just fine. Now it's pretty small though. Let's see if we can make it a little bigger. If I click on edit again, I can change it from medium to large. Let's do that, I'm gonna hit update. That feels better. A lot of times people want to have the text flow around the image. Well, that's easy to do as well. You'll see that there's a, a line left, a line center, a line right, and no alignment. Right now it's on no alignment, it just behaves like text. It could almost, you know, you could even have text come up right here. So it's almost like you could think of this as a, a piece of text itself, a very large character. But what I want to do is I want to have the text flow around it to the right. So I'm gonna align it to the right, and you'll see that the text flows nicer and down below it. Um, I'm gonna hit update here. And then I'm gonna hit view page. You can see that's what it looks like. It looks nice, looks clean. Now if I wanna delete this image, all I have to do is click on it once to get this little bar to pop up. And then I will click remove. And those are the basics of making changes, adding images, adding text to a website. But there is more, there is more to learn. So some sites, are not gonna be as simple as text in a few images. Some sites need a little bit more of a complex layout. Um, this would be a good example on the homepage. You see there's, we have lots of uh, logos and an image. We have a four column layout here, and we have a banner at the top. Now for these more complex layouts, we'll frequently use a plugin called Elementor. If you are on the front end of a page and you see this edit of Elementor icon, you'll know that it was made with it. You notice if I click on the About Us page, that is not present. But if I go back to Home, Edit with Elementor is there. So if you don't see that, just click on Edit Page. But if you do see Edit with Elementor, go ahead and click on this. Okay, so once we are in Elementor, there's a whole bunch of things we can change. Uh, we can do change the text, links, pictures, all kinds of stuff. So let me show you how this is done. Uh, let's say I want to take out the word potato. I can just highlight it and hit delete. If I want to put it back in, I can hit control Z on my keyboard and it will go right back in there. That's the undo button, pretty much in like every program on the planet. Um, and then if I want to like say change this, this button right here, I can change what it says. I can see, see our parts inventory. Maybe I want to just say parts inventory and I can shorten it, just say that. And again, I can hit Control Z to bring it back. I can even change the link. So if I wanted this to go to the equipment page instead of the parts page, I could type in equipment and it gives me some suggestions here at the bottom. I can just click on equipment and now it's gonna to link to the equipment page instead of the parts page. Um, but let's go ahead and put it back in the parts page. We'll link to parts. Looks good. And let's say I want to change a photo. Here we have this photo. I'm going to switch it from this one by clicking on choose image on the right. So what I did again was I clicked on the photo in the main content area. And then on the left, I click choose photo. And I'm going to change it to this uh, photo that was kind of taken up from above. That looks nice. And then if I want to see my changes, I just hit update at the bottom. And if I want to view what it looks like, I can click up here in the upper left-hand corner. There's these three horizontal lines. If I click on that, it gives me this kind of extra menu. And one of them is view page. So I'm gonna click that. And it takes me right back to the site and I can look at my results and say like, hey, that looks nice. So those are just some of the basics of how you can edit things on your website. Hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can always call us. We're EasyNet Tools. Our number is 800-627-4780.
And yeah, we'd love to help you with your website. We do design, marketing, all kinds of things. But we hope you're having a good day. We hope this was helpful for you. Thanks. Bye.